All right, so starting out in child's pose tonight, big toes are touching, sitting on your feet, and you can have your knees wide or not, and you can bring the head all the way down, or if you'd rather just rest it on your, your forearms, and that's kind of nice too sometimes. So allow yourself to soften down toward the ground here and just kind of release tension in your hips, your low back, And we're going to take a few moments just to breathe deeply right here. So find some big expansion in your rib cage and your belly and your back with your inhales. Feel everything moving outward, getting big. On the exhales, feel all of that tissue moving inward, getting small. Use your breath here, use your imagination, inhale and get expansive and huge, take up so much space. Exhale and get so tiny and dense. Continue breathing deeply and really wanna lengthen the breath out. And the idea as we just sit here and breathe is that we're moving and using the whole of the torso. We're using all the belly muscles. We're moving the back muscles as we expand and contract the shoulders, the chest, everything is moving in and out with the breath. And it's getting a little warmer. Hopefully you feel little spaces opening up between your ribs, between your shoulders. Keep your big breath moving here. Keep it slow and deep just as much as you can. And we'll just start to activate these arms a little more, wake up the upper body. So walk your hands out away from you. And we wanna keep the forehead low. So you walk your hands out, notice if you feel a nice stretch in your armpits, in your chest. Make sure your head is still down and your hips are still down too, okay? So if they tend to come up, see if you can just put them down. And then maybe your hands out there away from your head are starting to press down into the fingertips and lift in the palm. And you can even lift your elbows here and breathe really deeply into your whole armpit and your chest, maybe rocking one shoulder lower than the other and switching sides, dropping the other shoulder. And you can look out under your, your own arm, finding some nice twisting here. Okay, maybe next time you come back to center, just pause right there, just pause right there. Put your hands back on the floor. And we're really gonna move your arms and your shoulders here. Are you ready? So grip the mat with your hands, pull on it, point your elbows at your knees. And just like your elbows are trying to hover off the mat and pull inward at the same time, stay low until your heart is hovering over your thumbs. So you're in this funky little wagging your tail kind of shape and you're looking forward-ish and then press it back to a child's pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, stay low, pull yourself forward to hover, heart over thumbs, look forward. And exhale, press it back to child's pose. Let's do that some more. And you just find a little rhythm here. Inhale, hover forward over your thumbs. Exhale, back to your child's. Notice what's happening in your spine. We have a nice arch on the inhale. We have back to a rounding on the exhale. 
and your arms are having to work a good bit here, especially when you press yourself back to that child's pose. So don't skimp there. Let them get nice and warm. And remember, you can always come up a little higher instead of staying low. You can come up high if that's a little more gentle for your practice today. You can keep whatever kind of vibe. Always interpret these suggestions to fit the vibe of your practice. Maybe one more time, floating over your thumbs, pressing it back to a child's pose. And then from here, walk your hands back towards your legs and press yourself up to a seat. Okay, so hopefully you feel some really nice warmth in your shoulders after that and your arms are awake and we'll continue to open up and wake up the front and the side body. So this time we'll get the hips a little bit more involved. So from here, just drop your right fingers behind you, okay? You can take them behind you, out to the side, really anywhere on that right side. And we'll lift the hips nice and high. Think of inhaling here as you lift. Think of opening up your front body as much as you like, okay? It could just be a little bit. You can even peel your heart open to the ceiling here with that left hand up. We'll bring it down. Now let's do the other side. Left fingers behind you, inhaling. Right hand reaches up. You could think of lifting your hips as high as you like. Then exhale to bring it down. Now we're just gonna go side to side like this a few times. So interpret it. You can take it slow if you like. It could just be a really teeny tiny movement or it could be a big, and dramatic one. And feel free to make that choice. Maybe close your eyes here. Hopefully you feel this twist and this side and front body opening, hip opening, shoulder opening all in one. Remember to breathe two more. All right, last one on each side. Nice, bring it back down and around and plant your palms out in front of you. Tuck your toes underneath you here. We can press the hips up and just hang for a little while. So really bend your knees. Really let your head hang, maybe sway side to side, bending one knee at a time. And then inhaling here, push down into your heels. We're gonna roll it up, stack your vertebrae, super tall. Okay, reach up here. Think of lifting your heart a little bit up top. Right, as you exhale, drop down into a chair posture. So your tailbone points down, your heart lifts. Hold here, listen carefully. Inhale and reach that right arm behind you. As you do that, pull back on the left knee, twisting. Exhale, reach it up again, back to your chair. Drop your hips a little lower. Inhale, other side, left arm reaches back, right knee pulls back. Exhale, back to your chair, drop a little lower. Inhale, all the way up to standing here, lift your heart. And exhale to fold, we're rolling it down, hinging at your hips. On your inhale, come just halfway up, so unroll your spine, look forward. And on your exhale, fold really deeply, bend your knees, give them a hug. Okay, palms are down here. Inhale and walk your hands forward to a plank. Exhale here, come halfway down, elbows into your ribs. Inhale all the way back up to your plank and exhale, walk to your hands and fold. Take another moment here just to shake it out, let yourself hang. 
So we'll do a couple more rounds of that little chair flow, <laughs> little chair and plank flow, just to get you warmer. Get your joints a little more ready for movement. So here we go, pushing into your heels. Inhale, roll yourself up. Reach up super tall, maybe a tiny back bend up top. And as you exhale, drop into your chair posture. We're gonna be here for a while. Inhale, right hand back, pull back on the left knee as you look back. Exhale, back to your chair, drop lower. Inhale, left hand reaches back, pull back on the right knee. Exhale, back to center, drop a little lower. Inhale here, all the way up to stand, a little tiny back bend up top. And exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Halfway up for your inhale, think of putting weight in your toes here. Then big fold on your exhale. Palms are down. Inhale, step it back to your plank. And exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs, just tap. Inhale, back up to your plank. And exhale, press your hips back, walk your hands back to your feet. Again, let's hang right here. So we'll do that little chair twist flow one more time. But first, just hang a little bit. Shake your head and feel your spine getting a little longer each time you hang. And here we go. Inhaling, push into your heels, roll it up. Lift up to a teeny tiny back bend. Exhale into your chair, posture, come on down. Pull the knees together. Inhale, right hand back, left knee back. Exhale, back to center, drop lower. Inhale, left hand back, right knee back. Exhale, back to your chair, drop lower. Inhale, all the way up, back bend maybe. Exhale, fold it down. Halfway up, inhale. Big, big fold on your exhale. Palms are down, inhale for your plank. And exhale, halfway down. Inhale back up to your plank and exhale back to your downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths here in downward facing dog. So first one of this practice, walk it out in your heels. And then let's wobble the heels over to the left. Wobble them to the right. Get some nice side opening out of that feeling. Okay, and next time your knees wobble, your heels wobble over to the left, let's roll into a side plank. So let your heels point to the left and then see if you want to reach up with that right hand. So if you need to, you can drop the left knee underneath you and make this more of a supported side plank. But if you're happy with an unsupported uh, and more challenging side plank, stack your feet one on top of the other. You can even separate your feet on the mat, okay? Breathe here with me. Think of pushing the floor away and lengthening your spine to point your tailbone at your toes. So if all is going well here, see if you can pick up the top leg. Breathe right there. Push the floor away. Bending that bottom elbow slightly. All right, one more big breath in here. And then check it out, listen closely. Bend the right knee, pull it up in by your hips. Could you carefully set that right foot down at the front of the mat? Okay, nice. Inhaling here, come on up to a crescent lunge. And exhaling here, drop your hands down in front of you on the mat, under your shoulders, and back to down dog. Walk your down dog here. Notice how your arms feel. And let's take a little vinyasa here. You can always skip vinyasas and just take a break if you need one, okay? 
Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands and fold. Roll it up on your inhale. Okay, up on your tippy toes here, try this. Exhale and drop down as low as you wanna go with your hips, but stay up on your tippy toes. So it's a little challenging with balance. And then stay on your tippies as you come all the way up on the inhale. Exhale and then drop your heels and fold. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, big fold. Palms are down. Inhale to your plank. You can hop or step. And exhale here. Let's do knees, chest, and chin. Come down before anything else. Hover. And inhale. Pull your heart forward to a cobra. You can think of pointing your tailbone straight down and pulling your heart straight up. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Meet there and walk it out. All right, pedal it out, roll your shoulder blades all around. And then wobble the heels over to the right. <laughs> See if you wanna keep them pointed out to the right, maybe stack them and find yourself in a right facing side plank, supported or not. Okay, I'm gonna spin around to face you, but we are in the same place in a right side plank. So make sure the bottom elbow is bendy. If it's really hard to bend the bottom elbow without collapsing, consider that you might use a knee underneath you so that you could bend the bottom elbow. Why? I want you to be strong in your arms here. We're not collapsing into that elbow joint. So breathe here, side plankers. <laughs> Stack those feet, maybe lift the top leg for extra challenge. Think about how strong that bottom arm is, pushing the floor away. All right, so as you're ready, start to bend the left knee, pull it up and in, and then very carefully, could you set that left foot down at the front of the mat? Boom, inhaling here, all the way up into your crescent lunge. And exhaling, all hands down in front of you, in front of uh, inside that front foot, and back to down dog. Okay, here comes another little vinyasa. Feel free to take it or skip it. Inhaling, heart moves forward to a plank. Exhaling, hop our step to your hands and fold. Roll it up, inhale, lift your heart. Okay, up on your tippy toes again here, let's try it. Tippy toes and tippy toe, exhale, hips down as low as you wanna go. Inhale to bring it back up, tippy toes. Exhale, heels down and fold. Halfway up, inhale. And big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale for plank. Exhale, on knees, chest and chin, hover. Inhale, rolling it forward to a cobra, tailbone down, heart way up high. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so back in your down dog. We're a lot warmer, so we can start to really open it up and push into the hands, push back on the feet, like your feet are trying to rip the mat backwards and your hands are trying to rip it forward, like you're trying to tear it in half. Feel a slight inward engagement between your knees and your elbows. Okay, like the two halves of your body are trying to smush themselves together in the center. And hopefully you can lift the kneecaps a little bit to give the hamstrings a little bit of ease in letting go. All right, so we're gonna start playing around, getting the upper body nice and warm and uh, getting some good warmth and movement in the shoulders. But let's give your arms a break for the moment. So inhaling here, left leg, or sorry, right leg, up and out behind you. Right leg up in the air. And exhale, right foot drops between your hands. Okay, inhaling here, come on up to a crescent lunge. 
Exhaling here, bend into that right knee. Go ahead and sink your weight over that right foot. So you're coming up on the left, very tippy of your tiptoe back there. And then inhale, launch yourself up into a warrior three. So we're balancing on that right foot. And if you're like me and you're up against the wall, maybe move yourself back in your space. Because in your warrior three, your hips and shoulders are level with the mat. And you can reach your hands out or down. But if you like to get your shoulders really working, okay, really warming and strengthening for the shoulders, go ahead and reach forward and breathe. Like you're holding a basketball and handing it to someone. The left leg is strong, the right leg is strong. Hips and shoulders level. Nice work for the whole upper body here. One more big breath in. And exhale, drop that back toe to the floor. Drop those hands down inside your right foot. And we'll drop the back knee for now. So we're down in this little low lunge. And let's rock the hips forward and back a few times. Okay, notice the effects of using that right leg to hold your whole body weight. Okay, good warmth for that leg. Good work. And then let's settle into a lunge here, a low lunge. Let's tuck the back toes so we can really start to press down into the floor with the legs. So give the floor some good resistance, pushing into all the bones of your legs. And we'll start to reach up with the right hand. So think of a big space across your chest here. Big twist, and I will spin around to face you. So in your twist, you can keep the back knee down. And just think about pushing the floor away from you and opening up your chest here with both elbows bent so that both arms can be strong. Or you can lift the back knee. Either way, keep pushing the floor. Breathing deeply into your chest, maybe peeling it open a little more. And then from here, okay, if the back knee is down, go ahead and lift that back knee up. And I'm gonna challenge you here to push into your feet and reach back through the right hand, back, 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 back. Okay, now try this. Swim the right hand down, windmill the left arm up. Nice and slow, guys. Transition yourself all the way to a warrior two. So the left heel drops, the right arm reaches forward. Warrior two, hold right here and breathe. Okay, centering your hips just underneath your ribs. Pointing that left knee at your left toes. One more big breath in right here. And let's let it go. All hands down inside that front foot, right foot, and back to down dog. Let's take a couple breaths here, just shaking it out, walking it out. And here comes a vinyasa, which you can take or skip. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands and fall. Roll it up, inhale. Okay, regular old chair here as you exhale. Regular chair, hold here for a full breath in. Drop lower on the exhale. Inhale all the way up, little back bend. Exhale all the way down. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank, hop it or step it. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra, pressing your tailbone down, heart up. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Take five or six breaths here. 
you close your eyes. Think of spinning your heels out so you can't see them, really grounding into the ball mound of each thumb and each big toe, okay? And as if you're trying to squeeze your thumbs toward each other and your big toes toward each other, strengthen everything toward the midline. And maybe somewhere in the midst of all that, you can walk your fingers out a little further, maybe an inch or two, and you just got that much longer in your spine. So here we go, let's do the other side, friends. Inhaling here, left leg up and out behind. Exhaling, send that foot forward, drop it between your hands. Inhaling, crescent lunge, come on up. Okay, pressing into the floor with your strong legs. Get ready for that warrior three. So exhale, shift the weight forward. You're over your left foot with your heart. Inhale, launch the right leg up into the air. Warrior three, so you're floating in space here. If you want room for your arms, give yourself some room. Reach those arms forward and work your shoulders by holding up your heavy arms. So make sure the hips and shoulders are always level, guys. And we're strengthening out through all the legs and all the arms. Breathe here, let the left leg work. Let the shoulders work. One more big breath in right here. And then let it go. We'll go the left, the right toes back to the mat, the right knee down. Come on down to a low lunge. And we'll rock the hips forward and back a few times. So noticing how your legs, how your left leg got warm with that that single leg balance, and then come back into the lunge. Just settle into your lunge and tuck the right toes so you can be really strong with the legs on the floor and start to resist the floor with your legs here. Adding your twist when you're ready, rock into your right hand and reach up with your left. So hang and breathe right here. You can spread open your chest a little more with every breath. And make sure to soften that bottom elbow. Make sure it's working. Okay, we want to try not ever to lock our joints. So maybe here, guys, you tuck the back toe and you lift the back knee. Try that. Continue to push the floor more. Dropping the knee at any time if you need a break. And then as you're ready, do lift the back knee, whether it was up or down, and strong, okay? Strong, roll yourself up to standing, pulling back with that left hand, reach, reach, reach. And when the left hand can't reach any further back, start to swim it down. Allow the right hand to windmill up. Windmill yourself all the way out into a warrior two. So that right heel drops, the left knee points at the left toes. Send your arms out wide and drop into this warrior posture. Big breath, arms open wide. Try to center your spine in the middle of all of this. <laughs> all right, one more big breath in your warriors. And let it go, all hands down inside that front foot. Back to down dog. Shake it out, walk it out, let all that go. Notice warmth in the legs, warmth in the shoulders. And let's keep going. Here comes a vinyasa. Skip it or don't. Inhaling, heart forward to plank. Exhaling to your hands, hop or step. Roll it up, inhale. Exhale down into your chair. We're gonna stay here for a full breath in and out, okay? Here's the breath in. Drop lower on the exhale. Now inhale all the way back up. And exhale all the way down. Halfway up, inhale. Big exhale, fold. 
Palms are down, inhale for your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin, hover. Inhale for your cobra, tailbone down, heart up. Exhale, down dog. Okay, so here in your down dog, I'm going to get us into our last round of uh, flowing here uh, between vinyasas. So I wanna tell you at any time you can drop your knees if it's ever too much, but we're really gonna light up your shoulders, okay? So get ready. From your down dog position, could you isolate this movement as much as you can? Try dropping your right elbow to the mat and then picking it up. Now try the left, drop the left elbow to the mat and then pick it up. And see if you could go like this side to side, left and right, dropping, controlling, isolating the movement to the best of your ability. It's hard to isolate it, but just do your best. And then if one is enough, stick with one. If you want two, go ahead and drop two at a time and then pick them back up. Drop two at a time and pick them back up. Okay, now let's all put two down, hold right there. And then make sure your elbows are about shoulder width apart. And I just want you to hang out here for a moment with your elbows down. Let your head hang and ask yourself if it's too much, if you wanna stay right here, or if you wanna keep going. If you need to back out, drop your knees. Back out, okay? Hang right here. You can hang right here if you want to. If you want a little more, walk your feet a little closer to your elbows. Continue to push the floor away and breathe. So your shoulders right now are getting both a very powerful strengthening experience and a very powerful stretch. And those two things go very well together. So keep breathing and pushing the floor, maybe three more breaths wherever you are in your dolphin posture. Two more breaths in dolphin. Last breath here. As you're ready, walk your feet back out, away from your elbows, draft your knees. Take a child's pose here, just hands on the floor, maybe back by your feet, wherever you want them, but sink your hips down. Find some nice breath. Notice how your shoulders and your back are feeling right now. And from here, bring yourself back up to hands and knees and then come to a seat. Okay, and we'll start We'll start in a, um, a little seated posture called cow face pose or gomukhasana. And we'll just make it really gentle and palatable at first by extending the left leg. So have the left leg out nice and long. And we can take the right knee and cross it over so it's very close to the left knee. Okay. So your knees are close and your thighs are close. And that's really the main point here is to start feeling some opening in this right hip. So all along the outside of the right hip. If you feel a lot here, you can just hang out right here with the bottom leg extended. But if you feel pretty good and you wanna go deeper, you can bend the bottom leg, that would be the left leg, and pull the left foot in by your right hip. So either way, your top leg is still in the same position and you can just sit up tall once you've gotten where you'd like to be and just breathe. Think of grounding into both of your hip points equally, lengthening in your spine. And then from here, I'd like to add a little arm complement 
to the twisted upness of your legs. So take your arms out wide and then we'll cross the opposite arm over. So we'll cross the left arm over the right. You can just cross at the elbow. And if your shoulders are tight today, try just grabbing your shoulders, one in each hand. If your shoulders feel great, braid your forearms and do your best to put your palms together, okay? And you look at your thumbs. Your thumbs will point at your head. And we want to lift the elbows so they're level with your nose. So lift them up high, level with your nose. As the elbows go up, could you drive the shoulder blades down? Okay, so you'll start to feel mm, some really nice space opening up between your shoulder blades in the back. So breathe with me here. Elbows up. Shoulder blades down. And then once you've got the elbows and the shoulders where they need to be, try this. Start to increase the distance between your nose and your elbows. Like you're trying to lean back away from your elbows as your elbows try to get away from your nose. And remember to breathe. Okay, your greatest tool here Your breath, just sending extra space between your shoulder blades. Maybe one more big breath in here in your Gomukhasana with your Garuda arms. Ah, and then let all that go. You can take some shoulder rolls here. And roll in the other way. And we'll turn this into a nice little twist. So whether you have the bottom leg straight or bent, you can leave it just like it is. It'll work either way. Just grab your right knee and point it up so that the right foot steps on the floor outside the left thigh. And we'll twist using the left arm holding the right knee, looking back over that right shoulder. Right fingers on the floor can make you a little taller Let's take a few breaths here. Long spine on the inhale. Mm, belly button to spine on the exhale. You can deepen it if you like with the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Just propelling you a little deeper. Maybe one more breath in this nice little twist. And then allow yourself to unwind. Lean back on your hands here. And you can kick out your legs and do some windshield wipers. Okay, let's do the other side. So if you had your left leg straightened out last time, you'll straighten out your right leg this time. Stick it out in front and simply drape that left leg over the right here. We can kind of let the left foot be floppy. We want the knees close and the thighs close. So you can start out with the right leg long and leave it just like that or deepen this by bending that right knee and putting the right foot down close to your left hip. Okay, take a moment, make sure both hips are down. Make sure you can adequately press into the floor and feel some release in that left outer hip this time. And as the legs relax a little bit more into this hip opener, let's get the arms crossed the opposite direction. So arms out wide, we'll cross right over left this time. And tight shoulder option, grab your shoulders with opposite hands. Okay, a little bit deeper into the shoulders, uh, braid your forearms, put the palms very close and point your thumbs at you. And then we wanna lift the elbows level with the nose as we drop the shoulder blades. 
Okay, once you're there, start to increase the distance between the tip of your nose and your elbow creases. Do you wanna feel some really big space opening up between the shoulder blades and the back? Pay attention to any other places you might be feeling right now. Maybe one more big breath here. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. And let's let all that go. Unwind, roll your shoulders out a few times. And we'll transition into that little twist. So you can keep the bottom leg bent or straight. However you have the right leg is perfect. Just change the left. The left foot goes on the floor outside the right thigh. Okay, and make sure both of your glutes are down. The left knee points up. Right arm holds left leg. Left fingers behind make you a little longer as you look over that left shoulder. Use your big breath into your big chest here. Long spine, inhale. Belly button to spine, exhale. Maybe use your right elbow to deepen the twist. Put it outside the left knee and twist that much more. Maybe one more really nice twisty breath here. Allow yourself to roll out of this. And again, lean back on your hands, kick the feet out, windshield wipers. <sighs> okay. And friends, we made it to the most important part of your practice today, your resting posture. So grab behind your knees and roll yourself down. Prepare to rest. Find the posture that makes the most sense for you. Make sure you're comfy. Close your eyes. And something incredible we get to do now. You get to release all control over your breath, over your body and your mind. Just let go. If you notice anything in particular in your thoughts, allow yourself to notice it and then bring your awareness back to experiencing this moment. Noticing sensations in your body. This moment, what do you feel right now? Notice the characteristics of your breath and its natural, uncontrolled state right now. Notice any sounds in your environment. And just allow yourself to be here with no responsibilities, no thoughts of future or past, like a child. So please keep resting like this for as long as you can, okay? Maybe take a nap if you have a chance. Um, at least five minutes would be ideal at the very least. 
But thank you so much for joining me and taking good care of yourself.